Hello again, Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, back from more Malifaux, and this time the Master Tony Ironsides from the Arcanists. Dark Skin 09041. So, Malifaux is based on an alternate Earth where events that happened in the real world either didn't happen or happened differently. This is relevant to Tony's story, as in, she is the son of a escaped American slave, or son, no, daughter. She's the daughter of escaped American slaves, and since uh, Malifaux currently is in about the 1920, 1910s, give or take, currently in the fiction, it means that the Emancipation Proclamation didn't happen until much later, because she betrayed Ramos and more or less sold him out to the guild in exchange for them forcing through the Emancipation Proclamation. But, uh, okay. So there's our skin tone and Templar Blue 09056. But She was, uh, before she sold out Ramos, he had put her in charge of the miners and steampers union while putting Karis in charge of the Arcanist's more clandestine operations. And after she sold him out, she and Karis had a reckoning over what she did. Essentially, she made a deal with the devil to get something desperately needed and long overdue. But... After they almost killed each other, they also, uh, oh, what is the word I'm looking for? They reconciled when she told Karis that, you know, Ramos had increasingly been pulling resources away from the Arcanists towards his own personal projects and was becoming more concerned about his own research and pet projects and he was the cause he had helped found the Arcanists for. So with Ramos currently incarcerated in Vienna, the Arcanists are being led by Ironsides and Karis in more than just a uh, uh, name. And she is a very much a brawler. And I'm going to let that drag before moving on. She's got a pretty straightforward color scheme, so this should go quickly. Except my camera doesn't like focusing. Oh, there we go. There we go. Back in a bit. Okay. Next, Chaotic Red. I had a very strong impression of a bright red jacket on her, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, not bright red, a darker red, but... So, Iron Size is more or less a brawler. And before her betrayal of Ramos was tasked with keeping the Arcanists in line, taking care of any troublemakers internally before they uh, made things go out of control or drew unwanted attention to the Arcanists. At least uh, the kind of attention that the guild could actually act on. Much of the fighting in Malifaux is political as it is gang warfare with reputations being as important, if not more so, than actual combat capabilities. And then, rainy gray, I'll start on her hair. This is far from a perfect means of doing black hair, but it uh, kind of works. She's got those that um, little hairstyle consisting of the small puffs. And 
Adam Slides has a new box set, which we're talking about in a minute. Okay, yeah, let's get some tools next. So, black tarnished steel 09206. So, this box set of one from those irons. Oh boy, this is not focusing right now. Ironside's original box set had her packaged with box 40 and mages, which she doesn't have any keywords with anymore. So she's got a new one. She's MNSU keyword. So I'll probably have to at least partially rebuy her set to, to get whatever she is going to be coming with. I think it's union laborers or something like that now, but. Regardless, okay, let's see, and then uh, get the backs of her knuckles. So her weapons are pretty much just thick leather gauntlets with studded knuckles here. Okay, I need to let that dry now before I move on. Okay. Fur brown. My camera's having a lot of trouble focusing on this. Focus on her. Okay. Can I get the belt first? Because I think that's going to give me the most problems. Big one in this color are the rest of our gauntlets. Pretty much just thick leather, leather gloves, the weapons of a brawler. Uh, we just got a second belt on, so we'll get the suspenders here and get what I perceive to be a second belt. Those look like pockets to me, but I will get her boots. Is not liking my camera really isn't liking her uh, uniform gray get to get the uh, stonework just having a lot of trouble focusing on her I'm guessing it's the dark color scheme but I don't know if that's right or not but looking good so far anyway 
So it's just going to go on the stonework on the base. It's just a quick custom sculpting I did. But again, going back to the fact that Malifaux was based on an alternate version of Earth, magic didn't, you know, where magic actually exists, and it seems certain historical events did not actually happen at all or pan out the way they did, so it makes me wonder. Did America in, Mal in uh, Malifaux's continuity have a civil war? Did America have a revolutionary war? I'm guessing yes, but it kind of makes me curious to a certain extent, but and again, all right, it's got base coat, so once all that completely dries, I can start shaping. Light is really, really fighting me on this. Alright, time to shave. I'll start with the hair, pure black, 09037. So for a particularly dark color like this, you'll need two to three parts water to one part paint. Normally a shade is going to be a one-to-one -one mix of water to paint. It took me a while to even get a reasonable shade of black like this, but and I think there's still room for improvement, but this isn't bad for now. Just start there. And Ruddy Leather 09109. For your base coat, you want to work on the lowest part of the model, generally the skin, and go up to the highest. Shading, you want to go high to low. And then highlighting, go low to high again. So one to one on the ruddy leather, diluting this into a wash. Uh, go over the base coat. You know, I'm starting to wonder if this is supposed to be bare elbow, but it's gonna roll with this at this point. Belts and straps and suspenders. Okay. All right, that's all I can do right this minute. So let that dry completely, and no bosses can. Alright, let's do... Red Brick 09001, which just took a tumble. That's great. Well... I'm not going to bother deleting this segment. It's these little bits of chaos that make things interesting. to get a nice solid coat. And I just realized this color scheme is turning out a little bit like uh, how Michael Jackson was dressed in Thriller, but just a little. Maybe I was subconsciously thinking about that, but eh, it doesn't really matter one way or another. A little more right here on the collar. A little more down the back here. And. Okay, yeah. Black and Steel 09205. I thought I forgot to get the back of the knee, but uh, looks like I did. Looks like I got it after all, so. Okay. 
on the back of her knuckles. Belt buckle. Belt buckles, kneecaps, and her knee pad tools. This chain. Yeah, it's that'll do. So let that dry completely and move on to the next. Alright, last of the shading. Dark Shadow 09040. I actually don't need too much because the only skin showing, at least the way I'm painting, is on her head. So. I want to make sure I get her ears while avoiding her hair. And now that I'm painting her, I'm noticing there's a substantial seam in the middle of her head, which would have been a mold line. It's, uh, no, I'm happy. Got a little bit down the back there. Make sure I get the back of her ears as well. on blue 09055. This one's running a bit thin, but I have more than enough to do what I need to do on her. around the shiny parts here. Some of the shading on those tools got a little out of hand. I can loosen up on this leg a bit. Pretty straightforward and practical color scheme based off of her role as well as what her alias is. Even the show, though she doesn't have any keywords with the Oxfordian mages she used to come with, it still mentions that she came to Malifaux with a group of them. And where is it? Stormy Gray 09088. Make sure I get all of this in these cracks between the stones and just some loose stone work that would be seen in the slums. Okay. That takes care of shading. Once it's all dried, I can detail and highlight. So, back in a bit. Alright. Time to detail, highlight, and wrap up. Matt White. And I am just very carefully filling in her eyes. that a minute and Matt or pure black zero nine zero three seven just need a tiny dot of this for now I'm using just very little water almost but not quite straight paint just carefully
very carefully filling in pupils. Okay. Now the highlight, switching to a dry brushing technique. Dark highlights 09042. Using a ragged feathered brush, straight paint, no water, rubbing most of the paint out on a paper towel to look like there's nothing left. And then lightly dusting the area to be affected, going against any raised areas such as the bridge of the nose, an example. And then pure black. I actually have enough left over from that first uh, bit to do this. Going over the hair. Again, this is not a perfect way to do black hair, but it's the best I've found so far. I'll keep experimenting and playing around until I get something that looks uh, better. But using sh just straight black as your hair, it just uh, that tends to that doesn't work too good because you lose some of the detail. Next one. Ashen Blue 09057. Focusing on the readily visible areas. against the wrinkles in her pants. I think I'll do the jacket next, so vampire red. happening again so I can get this to focus. Uh, the camera has been fighting me the entire time on this. Silver zero nine two zero seven. Almost forgot the knee pad. Refreshing from the paint I rubbed out. Just real quick there. Burnt orange zero nine one one one. Yes, I'll do. Refreshing my paint as needed. Just a little extra paint. 
paint on these suspenders on the back since I wound up getting some of the denim shade on there. Misty Gray 09090. Just about shot. Okay, that's going to be enough. Black zero nine zero three seven. And switching to a flat head brush, keeping the brush moist but overly wet, or but not overly wet, just using just enough water to thin out the paint. And just go over the edge. And I used to use a faction specific color even going so far as to put uh, two tone two colors on in case of dual faction but with the faction changes in second edition or third edition Malifaux I just stopped everything just gets a uniform black now and that is it Tony Ironsides from the Arcanist's faction of Malifaux, if I can get to focus a bit, there we go. And there's Ironsides, continuing with her box set in the next video, well at least her second edition one anyway. Until next time, I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing out.